Hi guys, James here. Welcome to another video about Full Metal Monsters, or FMM for short. Today we're going to look at the heavy weapon slots. So let's get straight to it. Here I've just got my Brontosaur with his standard kit. Straight away he just comes with a heavy pre precision rifle. But we'll get into that uh, in more detail. Uh, let's go through them in order. Firstly, the heavy rotary gun. Pretty straightforward, uh, 4 seconds reload time, capacity of 60, and a range of 200. Not too bad, straight trajectory as well. Here we go, now we're getting into some interesting territory. The heavy rocket launcher. A 12 second reload time, but the capacity you got 8 rockets. I know it shows 5 in the picture there, but <laughs> trust me it's 8. Uh, the range is 250. Obviously all these weapons, they're subject to change in future. They probably will change in the future. But for the moment, this is how it is for version 0.3. This is pre-global release. Uh, the heavy revolver gun, reload time of 6 seconds, capacity of 26, and good range on this one, so quite a cool little gun. Uh, especially with a Brontosaur, it's natural that you always want to have a sniper rifle, something with a lot of distance on him. In an earlier video, I was saying how he should have light uh, rockets, but in the latest update, he no longer takes light weapons. He only takes heavy, which is very cool. It makes him more potent, more powerful now. Next up is the heavy precision rifle that he comes with standard. You only get one shot every 14 seconds. It's a little bit frustrating, so my advice is go with a weapon that has a little bit, a bit quicker reload time. The heavy Tesla gun, good range on this one, not bad. Good damage as well. Eight seconds reload time, a little bit high, and the capacity is pretty good. And like all energy weapons, it can go straight through energy shields. The heavy shell cannon, similar to the shell cannon for the light version is like a shotgun. This one is does a similar thing too. The cooldown time, or well the reload time is 18 seconds, it's pretty high. But it is a pretty potent weapon if you see the damage there. Uh, and the range, it's better close up. So if you want to have a good mix of weapons, some close up, some far away, this is probably the best weapon to have up close. I would recommend this if you have a quick dinosaur that can carry heavy weapons. It's awesome just to be that dinosaur that runs in quick shoots guys in the face and then runs away. Heavy V-Rocket Launcher. As before, with the, uh, the just the standard V-Rocket Launcher, it has an area of damage. This one, same thing, obviously though, but it's bigger area that it affects. Good capacity. The range is kind of short on this. Um, I feel like this should be a more powerful weapon than it is, but I suppose if you upgrade it a lot, it can be quite potent. Next up, we got the Heavy Coil Gun. This one looks pretty badass when you look at it. It looks very heavy, very chunky. Like all energy weapons, goes through the shields. Straight tra trajectory as well. Reload time is 6 seconds, so that's pretty good. Capacity of 40, that's very good. And the damage isn't bad either. Like nearly 40k um, damage. The range though, it's a little bit short. So ag again, you'd have to be in close to, for that to really be effective. Now we're getting to the interesting weapons here. The heavy homing system. So you could lock onto a target and this little baby will find them wherever they are. It says capacity of one and here you can see a lot. Well, I'm guessing all these little rockets count as one because they just fire in one go, yeah? So that's what they're, they're aiming at, no pun intended. Uh, the range is a little bit better, 250, not bad. Uh, the damage though is a little bit low I feel for this weapon, but it's quite useful just for getting um, difficult to reach targets. Maybe there's a flying target that's uh, up, on a, up on a roof or something, you can use this device. The heavy artillery launcher, an arching trajectory, this one in my opinion is perfect to equip on a brontosaur because you can just park your brontosaur somewhere, hide him behind a wall and just arch these babies. Keep firing over, providing cover for your teammates. I mean, look at that range, 750, it's perfect. And the damage, you know, it's it's not super high, but you've got an area of effect damage, so potentially you're uh, affecting quite a few dinosaurs in one area. The reload time's a bit heavy, so mix it up if you can. And finally, the heavy plasma rifle. Before we were talking about plasma rifles as like sniper rifles, this one's no exception. Uh, long cooldown period, excellent range though, and perfect against metallic dinosaurs. So there we go, that is all the heavy weapons so far in version 0.3. Please write in the comments, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe, share, like. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.